Hi, I'm Rick Kaler. Thanks for joining me. South Dakota stops in many things. We're consistently rated as among the best in the nation for business climate, trust law, clean air, low taxes, and some of the best cities in the nation to retire in. So it really annoys me when we are last in something, especially when it's important, like teacher salaries. But how do our lower costs of living and our low state and local taxes affect our low salary ranking? It just has seemed to me for years that uh, salaries must buy more in the way of lifestyle in South Dakota than in states that have higher salaries, but also higher taxes and higher living costs. I was willing to bet when the annual salary of a South Dakota teacher was adjusted for cost of living and taxes, that we really wouldn't have the lowest salaries in the nation. So, to find out, I first consulted data from the National Education Association to get the most current average state salaries of teachers. South Dakota was dead last with a $40,641 average. It was no surprise that the highest salaries in the nation are paid by coastal states of New York with $76,865, Massachusetts with $71,620, Washington, D.C. with $70,906, California with $70,887, and in fifth place, New Jersey with $70,367. So I adjusted all of the teacher salaries for state and local taxes using data from the Tax Foundation. And then for the cost of living using data from the Council for Community and Economic Research. As I suspected, the amount of the salary is not as important as the amount people have left after paying their taxes and living expenses. While teachers in New York are the highest paid in the nation by salary, when you factor in what they pay for living expenses and taxes, they fall to 22nd place with an adjusted salary of just $50,022. The adjusted salaries drop the second highest paid teachers of Massachusetts to 37th place with $45,939, while those in the District of Columbia fall from 3rd to 42nd with a comparatively low $43,379. So what teachers in the nation really make the most money? Well, if you want the best lifestyle as a teacher, apply for positions in top-ranked Michigan where the adjusted salary is $61,020. The second highest adjusted salaries are in my neighboring state of Wyoming with $59,679 followed by third rank Pennsylvania with 56528 Ohio with 56480 and Delaware with $55,211. So what state had the honor of coming in dead last? That would be Hawaii. It ranks 20th for average teacher salary of $55,757, but it becomes a stunningly paltry $30,200 after adjustments. To my surprise, South Dakota's average adjusted salary of Thirty-eight thousand six hundred and forty-two only moved it from last place to second from last. Rounding out the bottom five are Maine with thirty-nine thousand two sixteen, New Mexico with forty thousand six eighty-six, and fifth from last, West Virginia with forty-one thousand three hundred and twenty-four. Adjusting the average teacher salaries for various states' cost of living and tax rates, however, 
does make a significant difference. For example, comparing only salaries shows the average South Dakota teacher making $30,265 less than the average teacher in Washington, D.C. But that $30,000 difference, after adjusting for purchasing power, becomes a difference of just $4,735 less than what the average South Dakota teacher makes. While South Dakota teachers make 15000 a little over 15000 less than those in Hawaii after adjusting for purchasing power, South Dakota teachers make over $8,000 more. While the results could be slightly skewed by comparing the 2011 tax numbers, which were the latest that I found, with uh, 2015 salaries and living costs, my research suggests two conclusions. Number one, while South Dakota is certainly in the bottom tier of teacher salaries uh, in terms of what it buys and, and, and purchasing power, we're nowhere close to being as far behind as it appears. And second, if you're a teacher in Washington, D.C., maybe you should consider heading west to Michigan or Wyoming. Thanks for listening.